Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of uh, Programming Algorithms. In this episode, which is going to be a very brief one, I just want to mention Boolean logic. I know you guys will be covering this in another module, but I just want to say it for programming. For programming, um, we're going to look at three different Boolean operators or operations. The AND command, the OR command, and the NOT command. So when we're doing things like if statements, case statements, while loops, for loops, do loops, and even loop loops, we can use and, or, and not to um, modify the conditions in each of those statements or loops. So the and operation, and hopefully you're aware of this, but we'll say it out anyway. And means if I have two parts and I put the word and in between, both parts have to be true for the overall thing to be true. So if A is true and B is true, then A and B is true. If A is false and B is true, then A and B is false. If A is true and B is false, then A and B is false. And if A is false and B is false, then A and B is false. So if we were doing an if statement and we were saying, if A equals five and age index is greater than age index plus one, what that means is both A equals five and age index greater than less than age index plus one must be true for the code to go into the then part. If age is equal to three, then it won't do the then part, or if age index is greater than age index plus one, it won't go into the then part then. So that's the and statement. The or operation means if either or both are true, the or of them are true. So if A is true and B is true, then A or B is true. If A is false but B is true, then A or B is true. If A is true and B is false, then A or B is true. And it's only when A is false and B is false that A or B is false. So if we did something like if A is equal to 5 or age index is less than age index plus 1, print A is 5, then it would only print A is 5. If age index was um, less than age index plus 1 or A was 5 or both, it would go into the then part. But if both weren't true, then it wouldn't go into the then part. And finally, our last one is not. So not means whatever the value is, it's the opposite of that. So if A is true, then the not of A is false. And if A is false, then the not of B, the, the not of A is true. So if we were to say, if not A equals five, what that would mean is when A is three, it would go into the then part. When A is 10, it would go into the then part. So the not means do, do the opposite of that. That's it. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.